into the bedroom, which is here, which is where my knife is. So now I have my knife. All the boxes already open. Whatever. Anyway, every I've never had quite. People are always like telling me to review things. I usually get one or two or three or four or five or six or seven or eight or nine requests for an item. But I'm pretty sure people have asked me a fucking three dozen times to review the RME ADI DAC 2. Or RME ADI 2 DAC. It's quality. So someone was willing to Someone who does not live in this country. Now here's an option for you guys. If you don't live in America, but at some point in the future, preferably two, three months in the future, you're going to come visit America for work, you can order something, have it shipped to me, then I will ship it to you when you're in the country. Which is what's happening with this. Uh, whew, I wanna damage the box, too bad. So what is, what is the big deal about this thing? And it's not cheap, here's the thing. Usually I'll get recommendations for something that's cheap and really good, and people will be all up like, oh my God, man, this $200 DAC amp combo sounds like a $1,000 DAC amp combo. This is nearly a $1,000 thing. So for it to get recommended as often and as loudly, that means it isn't just like, you know, noobs telling me to buy it. This is people who have the money to buy one of these telling me to buy it. So, fuck it. Let's look at the actual unit. That on its own is an amazing feat. That means I have at least that many subscribers or people who pay attention to me that have the money to throw $1,000 away on something like this. High-end wandler. What? First of all, spiral bound uh, book that will lay flat that is you know what that's oh and that's high-end converter oh so the words high-end don't j translate from the, the German I'm assuming by bedeindungslangenstuchtung see that sounds like, I'm, sounds like I'm making up fucking German words to make fun of the Germans you wrote it motherfuckers what does it actually mean uh, user guide Holy shit. No wonder we went to war with you. Like, no, their fucking dictionaries are a mess. We gotta destroy them. Uh, let's see. TSD, ASIO, Steady Clock. This is, this is one of the nicest manuals I've ever had to thumb through. And then you obviously flip it over if you want to learn the German. Oh my god, there's so many letters. There's so many le Look at these poor children in fucking Germany. Please, I, I could run under the council that I would make all the words shorter in German. Einskrachschenskrugen. Anyway, nice. Let's get to the actual loop. Okay. I have to remember how this goes back. I'm probably going to end up watching this video. It's actually smaller than I thought it would be. It'd be a little bit bigger than that. Check out our power bricks. I'm assuming we have at least one brick. Actually, wait. I don't have to assume that. We have got a very Chinese adapter. 12 volt, 2 amps. Smells nice, though. Smells like my childhood. Don't understand that. We've got a standard figure 8 connector, which I'm going to leave in the box. Or a remote control. I was not expecting that. Destroy the bag. Thank you. There's a little pull tab here to activate it. We're definitely activating this thing. Not the... I mean, the, the fact that they went RME in dark blue on a black remote means you can't see it says RME unless you get the light just right. I do appreciate the size. Usually they're these little skinny things. It's like, I have a man's hands. Hashtag sexism. Of a man's hands, and I want to hold volume. Like, that actually feels like a good remote. It's not that complicated either. All right, and we've got a USB normal size large head USB. So put that back in here. Put that back in here. Put these things back in here. 
See, this is how Zeus copes with having hundreds of items at his disposal. I could even probably put that thing back. Now, the actual unit itself is pretty light. It's in a Ziploc bag. Good. And anything I don't have to untape is good. And normally I wouldn't keep the manual out. Normally the manual would, would go back in this and I would just download the PDF version. But it's such a nice manual. I haven't... Like, oh. And this I have a feeling I'm going to be taking this fucking thing to bed and using it to fall asleep. Wait. There's chapters? This is inputs and outputs. Oh my god. I'll read you a section. Here you go. I'm going to fucking randomly swip, skip to a section and I'm going to read it. Um, general, the ADI DAC operates in class compliant mode UCA 2.0, a standard that is natively supported by operating systems like iOS, macOS, and Linux. No proprietary drivers are needed to the device to be recognized. Uh, lack, precision balance, and unbalanced line, to extreme power, and IEM outputs excel at both. Wow. How does it work? The bit test. You could, it's actually got a URL here. Hold on, let me, um, Click that. It's not letting me download this. All right, I'll just reboot this manual at some point. There are marks all over this. Why? Looks like someone dragged an eraser on it. Strange. Seems like it's been a little rough house. Well, oh, like these feet, look at that. They're not rubber, they're foam. Foam rings, so that means it lands and it's that's permanent. Permanently soft. Vents in the sides. Army on top. Look at the back first. Power, which says 9 to 15 volts DC, 8 watts, made in Germany. USB in, coaxial, optical, uh, right channel, left channel, unbalanced, uh, all outputs. These are the only inputs. One, two, three. I'm I'm going to go spit if, and I think for this particular unit, I have to sort of hook it up USB. I'll do that to my laptop. And now, the front power button, nice and flush, yet recessed. And I think it's got a, a ring around it. It's going to glow. We've got a gold quarter inch. We've got IM. I'm amazed it doesn't have balance for the amount of praise it's getting. Uh, that's actually pretty straight. So we've got a push in and nice, solid feeling clicky click. Volume, IO, EQ, or setup. So I don't know if you click one of those and you can adjust. And then we've got one and two press B and T, which are also knobs, which are... Oof. This is feels quality. Okay. I might shoot this off. Mm, shoot this off against the VMV D1. They're both hyper expensive, just DAX. It's just a DAX. Stack headphone amplifier. This has actually got more going on for it. Uh, oh, God, a piece of paper fell out. What are you telling me? Achtung! An updated version of closed manual is available as a PDF. Great. Get some download on the PDF, which is actually better. I don't want to damage that manual. So, yeah, here's the RMA. RME ADI 1 DAC. I'm sure I put this back in there, too. So, we'll see. Does it stand up to the hype? I mean, it just has to sound... I have to plug headphones into this or IMs into that, and I just have to have my mind fucking blown. I'm going to look at the price tag while I'm doing that, though. I'm going to calculate. So, burb.